Hey guys, it's Espo King here, and today I'm going to be starting my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough for YouTube. And today we're going to enter the Pokemon world. Starting a new game. In the video, I'm going to edit out this intro because it takes a while. Professor, Professor, this is Professor Birch, and he's going to talk, and he's going to tell us about Pokemon and talk and talk about us and he wants to know who we are and what gender we are. So I'm a boy and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be not G. No, did it wrong. And in after this video, make sure you um, subscribe to Linkash123 and watch his videos on um, Absol Cinema as well. So I, I don't know why we are getting driven in the back of a truck to our hometown. Seems pretty, pretty unfair that we're driven in the back of a truck. So our mum talks with us, and we'll be, and she'll tell us that this is our new home, and she's going to tell me to go inside. So the Vigoroths are working around to fix out, get ready, get our house ready, and she's telling me that um that my room's upstairs and I have to set my clock. As in every Pokemon game, there is always a potion in your PC. We'll draw it. And then I'll go set the clock. In the video, I'm also, I may edit this out. And that's about the time at the moment. And her mum comes upstairs and she's telling me to come downstairs. And telling me that everything's on my desk, which it always is. This is the only chance in the game to see your dad on TV, but of course of the storyline you don't. And then you, and then my mum tells me to go next door to introduce myself to May and her family. This is her mum. She notices me. She asks who I am. I tell her who I am. She knows that I'm her neck that she knows that I'm that she's that I'm her next door neighbour and that May is the same age as me. Now I go upstairs, this is May's room, and just click on the Pokeball and May will come upstairs out of nowhere. She asks who I am and I tell her who I am and she tells us who she is. And then she is supposed to be rushing to help Dad to help her dad catch Pokemon, so she goes to her PC. Oh, and if you try to take the Pokeball, you can't. Next, you go up here, and you'll see the little girl standing here, and she'll talk to you. Then she says there's scary Pokemon outside, out there, and she can and she can um hear the cries. And she wants to see what's going on, but she doesn't have any Pokemon. And Professor Birch is being chased by a Zigzagoon, and this is when you get your starter Pokemon. He tells me to go into his bag and take a Pokeball. And as I always pick the strongest type of Pokemon, which is Fire, and in this case I'll be picking Torchic. It's a level 2 Zigzagoon that only knows Tackle and Growl. It will use Growl twice and then tackle you, but if you should be able to two-shot it. No, not in this case. When I started my last walkthrough, I was able to two-shot it. You see, there's Growl twice. And then if you're lucky, you should be able to kill it on the third scratch. No, then you use Growl another time. And then you scratch again, and it'll die. And 
you should get 17 experience no matter what. Then he talks to you and he st says he's studying wild Pokemon. You tell him who you are and then he just teleports you back to his lab. He says, he says, he knows his, my father told me about him and he's going to give me the Pokemon and I'm going to nickname it Blaze as I did when I, pl when I played as a young, as a young kid when I was like 10. And if you want an appropriate name for your Pokemon, make sure you look at their gender. So in this case, my Torchic is male, so Blaze would suit him. And he says he will, you will become an extremely good trainer if you work at it. And then, and then he'll talk about her daughter May, and and um, so he'll you get you have the choice to say yes or no, but you always have to say yes because he'll never let you go unless you say yes. And then once you go through this route, it's Odale Town. And then this is Route 101. And I think it's 102 or 103 where me is at. This guy's not a trainer, so you can just walk past him. Okay. Okay, it's a Wurmple. Level 2 Wurmple. Why would I want that? Okay, I'm just gonna scratch it to death. I'll probably cut out most battles in the game unless I'm catching the Pokemon. And after this part, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some off-screen training, so I'll be able to be fine for the first gym. It's Rock type, because if you evolve Torchic into Combusken, it learns Double Kick, which is super effective to Rock type. And May will have the Pokemon that you're weak against. So if you pick Torchic like I have, um, she would have a Mudkip. If you picked Mudkip, she'll have Trico. And if you picked Trico, she'll have a Torchic. So now I'm going to go down. Down and up through here. Just talk to this person if you want a free potion. And he'll take you to the Pokemon. And you'll get a free potion. And if you just go up here to route 102, 103, May will be up the top, just there, as you can see right now. If you just go to her, she just talk to her and she'll, she'll say some stuff and then she'll notice you're there and she'll say hi and, and, then, and then she'll battle you. And the battle scene. Uh, I forgot to speed up the text and get rid of the battle scene because it takes a while. And so if you haven't leveled up, it'd be the same level as you and would know tackle and growl, I think, or tackle and um, leer. I don't know because I've never used a mud kit. But you should win this battle because if you pick Torchic, you'd be faster. In most cases, unless you pick Trico, because Trico is the fastest of all three. And then, if you've leveled up to six, you should be you'd get 69 experience. And if you've leveled up from six, if you're still at five and you're nearly at six, you would level up twice and you learn to focus energy at level seven. And um, then you get $300. Oh, at level ten, he learns Ember, so that would be useful. So again, doing some training, training over the game, so you can get stronger. So you'll definitely need to evolve, evolve your Torchic before the first gym, because you'll die instantly, because they're rock types and you're fire type. And when he becomes Combustion, he becomes fire fighting, so he can learn a lot of fighting moves and fire moves, and you can teach him moves like Earthquake, so he'll be pretty strong. Out of all, out of all the fire Pokemon, Torchic and Infernape are the strongest, or well, Blaziken and Infernape are the strongest of all generations of Pokemon. 
Now I'm going back to the lab, and then this you'll get the Pokédex and Pokéballs. And then this is where I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to Odell Town. I'm gonna end the video. And then before and before the next part, I'm gonna do some off-screen training, and may evolve him into a Combuskin. Oh, and in the next part, I'm going to be catching one or two Pokemon, and you'll find out, and you'll find out who they are next part in Petalburg Forest. And then May gives you Pokeballs, and she's going to say some stuff, and then you can just leave, and they'll stay there. And then if you go here, your mum will be there, and she'll tell you to wait, and she'll give you the running shoes. And you just gotta hold down B until you until you get into like a tricky position. Now your mum's gonna go inside and you'll never see her again until the end of the game. Now I'm gonna change my settings. I'm gonna put the text on fast battle scene off. I'm gonna pick type five because that's my favorite. So now I'm going to go to Odell Town, and then I'll go to the Pokemon Center, and then I'll see you guys next part. Okay, see ya. Don't forget to subscribe to Linkash123 and Absol Cinema and me. Okay, see you guys.